just when you think you're out, Naughty Dog drag you right back in. No, 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 no. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Oh, I thought I was out. I thought I was out. Legit. Uh, but I saw a video today from uh, Ryan Cannell, who uh, popped on the last couple of Friday Night Tights with us. And uh, his channel's received two copyright strikes, thanks to Muso. And when I saw that, I had to stop it as soon as I saw something. I had to stop it and be like, okay, Ryan, I've seen what I need to see. I gotta do a video about this. <laughs> so appreciate appreciate you putting this uh, out there for us all to see. But look, folks, I'm not gonna say anything about the leaks. I don't have to. I don't have to. The story that's unfolding, you could take the leaks out of the equation. Everything's starting to fit together. All the pieces are coming into place. A few weeks ago. When's this? This is the 5th of April, so over a month ago, nearly five weeks, uh, Troy Baker does an interview, and he comes out with a couple of very strange comments. Comments which made me personally put out a video saying, is it time to panic about The Last of Us Part 2? Prior to that, it was just a matter of, ah, it's just getting delayed. It's getting delayed because they're putting polish on it fine. Naughty Dog games look great. Oh, it's been delayed because of current day situation. Fine, that's understandable. But then when Troy Baker comes out and says he wants fans of The Last of Us to approach the game with an open mind and players will question everything, then you start to worry. Why would I need an open mind to play The Last of Us Part 2? I didn't need an open mind to play The Last of Us Part 1. It was a wonderful story about father and daughter, essentially. About a surrogate dad and a surrogate daughter who have been through terrible things and find it very difficult to trust and love and come together as a little family because of their journey together and their bond that they share. Something everybody can relate to. Everybody. Everyone can relate to family. Everyone can relate to love. Everyone can relate to loss. Nothing to keep an open mind about. Then the DLC came along, which I think, you know, much, much fewer people actually played compared to the original game. And yes, that uh, revealed Ellie to be gay. Why? Don't know. Did it, did it affect a character? No. Why was it put in there? Dunno. A little girl? It just felt a little bit odd, but fine. People have grown to love Ellie. And if that's who she was, that's who she was. Okay. Just thought a little bit of, little bit of politics put in there, but whatever. So when you have Troy coming out with Keep an Open Mind, yeah, we'd seen the trailers. Yes, the trailers have been very heavy on Ellie and her new girlfriend. Fine, whatever. You, you're exploring that story a little bit further. Fine, whatever. We have really grown to love Ellie and Joel from the first game. I'm still wondering why we're meant to be keeping an open mind. And because it's Troy Baker saying this, the voice actor of Joel, you're kind of worried about the treatment of Joel in the sequel. So then the leaks come out, which I'm not going to go into. The leaks come out and things become a lot more clear as to why. And then you realise what Troy Baker said I was thinking, is Troy trying to low-key warn us about The Last of Us Part 2? Mm, I don't think so. Why? Because Troy, he goes around in very far-left circles in the industry. So he's not going to be trying to low-key warn people about where the game is leading to. No. 
it looked like he was almost trying to defend the game before it even come out. And when that is your instinctive reaction, it means there's something very divisive in there. And we have seen with Doctor Who and Star Wars Last Jedi and shite like that, divisiveness just destroys fan bases. Destroys them. So to me, he was already preemptive defending the sequel. Now, also when the leaks came out, many of you will know the reaction that they've got. Not particularly favorably received from a lot of people, including myself. In actual fact, I will now no longer be purchasing the game. I was going to leave it, and then I was going to wait until I heard uh, people give their opinions on the game before making a decision. But after Sony and Naughty Dog and Muso started copyright striking all the channels, no. Now they're not getting a single solitary penny off me again, Naughty Dog. No, not again. Tough. So, we had a little special message from Druckmann. A little special message saying, hey guys, now that the leaks have come out, I'm paraphrasing, <laughs> now that the leaks have come out, we've been forced to release this game because it was on indefinite hiatus because of current day situation. But because the leaks came out, if they left it, the more they left it, the longer they left it, people would just be like, get out of here. Because they work, they know they can't control the information for too long. They can control it for a limited amount of time with all the copyright strikes and the DMCA takedowns. Even tackling memes and having freaking memes pulled down. They are trying their utmost to silence everything. And then now, quick, get the game out. Quick, 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 quick. So he says, hey guys, we're going gold. It's going to come out at the end of June time. Ooh. Ouch. The last time that I did a video on this, this was actually in a positive to negative ratio, but it was getting pretty, pretty hit with negativity. But now, whoosh, gone. Oopsie daisy. Um, next video that comes out. Oh, by the way, of course, he, um, shut up, Neil. He uh, turns the comments off. No comments. They're off. So when they released the final trailer, the gameplay trailer for the release of the game, no like to dislike ratio, no comments. Controlling the narrative as best they can. Yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. Yesterday, Troy Baker comes out with a video. And 27 seconds, <laughs> Troy has freaking prayer hands. He's either doing a low-key impression of DSP here, begging for money, or he's praising Almighty Tevin. He's literally prayer handing, begging people. Now, this is what he's got to say. There's crazy games for three decades. Naughty Dog making- And this is the most biggest ambitious game they've ever done. You experience could be undone by a couple screenshots. I think six years of development could be undone by that. It's a game. It's a game. You have to experience it. All I'll say about that. Right, okay. Uh, so he says, do you think it's, Put our hands together, beg, beg. There's only been a couple of screenshots out of there. There haven't. There hasn't. There was like 90 minutes of footage, a ton of screenshots, and the screenshots married up to the story. For all the jokes that we've made, and we've made plenty, for all the ribbing that we've given them, everybody who is upset or turned off by the story 
Everybody is doing it for the exact same reason. For the exact same reason. And that's the treatment of the characters. <clears throat> they will play every single diversity card they can. They will try everything in their power to taint people, calling them isphobesinism. They will hide behind every single speck of diversity they can find to cover up a divisive story that is based around the treatment of the characters. Not who the characters are, what they are, who they sleep with, the colour of them, what spandexed underwear they wear, what haircuts they have. No, it's about the treatment of the actual customers. We literally have the actors now, the voice actors, begging. Begging. And the thing is, Troy's also lying. I like Troy Baker. I do. I do like him. I think he's an unbelievable talent. I've got nothing necessarily against the guy, but I've got to call things how they are, and Troy is lying. There isn't just a couple of screenshots out there. There was multiple screenshots, multiple videos, multiple leaks. Even the second round of leaks, which were clearly put out there by Naughty Dog, were essentially confirming the first leaks, but trying to play them down. As if, yeah, it's kind of right, but come on, guys. It's not as bad as you think it is. <laughs> when you've got to send your voice actors doing damage control. When you've got to cover the narrative. When you have got to protect uh, your trailers by turning off comments and turning off likes and dislike ratios because you know that you're fracturing the fan base with this story then you know that you are essentially confirming everything which has come out the truth will be out there in full in just over a month's time I personally won't be purchasing the game. I guess I said purchasing on purpose. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people, at least in my immediate uh, viewership and circle who I socialize with, that will not be making a purchase of this game. When all the full facts have come out, when we see everything in its entirety, that's going to be exceptionally interesting. Because that's going to either validate everything that came out and expose Naughty Dogs as Naughty Dogs, Naughty Dog as complete liars, or it's going to be a slightly potentially lesser, but still validation of leaks that have come out. And then you've got to decide which way you want to take it. So I know I've been skirting around the issue in terms of what the leaks are, but you can understand as to why I did. But my goodness me, prayer hands, folks. Pray for The Last of Us Part 2. It might just need it. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming links in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. I don't know if I'm going to get Batwoman out today. Might do it tomorrow. It's a terrible episode. Bye for now. <laughs>